Wait, stop. Wait. Edit. <laughs> I'll leave it on. I'll connect. We okay. can just talk while I set it up. Whatever. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody there? I'm, I don't know. I can't see. Um, wait, did you start the other thing? Oh. We're going live. We're going live, Facebook feed, and Instagram, so we're getting like both things worked out here. Oh, I hope the camera doesn't fall. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so here we are. We're doing like a live Q and A with us, Dan and Martin. Mm-hmm. We can't even see you in this one, Martin. Oh hi, <laughs> hi everybody. Hello Instagram. We're on Facebook too. And we're here. We I had a very rough week in the Lamely. You had a very rough week. We I had a very. Why didn't you? Well, you said you just had a rough week. Well, yeah, because we Mariah, all had a rough week. Mariah <laughs> almost killed me. And we all had a rough <laughs> moment this week. So we're here taking questions and answers. We just released two episodes of the podcast, yeah. the Mariah Report. So those are up now for you to listen to. Um, You're going to knock over these cameras, Martin. I, know, I feel like I wish abandoned abandon this situation. That's fine. Where's my microphone? <laughs> Where's my microphone? Where's okay. my microphone? Now, these people are saying things. Can you read them? Because I can't see that. Part. A lot of hey. Hey, everybody. Hi, hello, hi, hello. hi. Dan is so cute. Oh, thanks. I didn't even put my good wig on today. This is just this is spur of the moment. So first of all, uh, we have two episodes out to check on iTunes or SoundCloud uh, and Stitcher. Yeah, one that good stuff. First episode is Looking In, where we talk about Mariah's world. Hey, Saul BC. Hey, Chris. Um, second one is the big one. It's this early edition of Moments. Well, we talk about what, ha- what, what ha- happened. happened. What ha- happened on New Year's Eve, guys? It was a disaster. We're devastated still. But I think, you know, we're letting it settle yeah. a little bit. Well, but like a, we mentioned in the podcast, like we're in it now. Right. Let's get comfortable in it. That's but all we can do. We don't can't... have a choice here. Yeah. So we got to go with the flow, continue to support our beloved Queen Mariah. Uh-huh. And, and that's all we can do. But just get... Get your, you know, what do the people put on their army gear when they go out to fight their battle gear? Because, you know, the we're going to be fighting. We're the... going to put your armor on because, yeah. you know, you're going to be fighting people defending hey. Mariah. Hey, Lance from Norway. Hey, Hello. Hey, Norway. What's up? She looked fabulous. She did look fabulous. Just me. She looked this, fabulous, yeah. In this week's episode, we we talk about everything, but we almost forget to really look about what she looked like. Yeah. She was gorgeous. I loved everything about it. Well, she gave us that really big fur coat that we... For yeah. the whole, for, we from Vegas. Vegas. Was that the Vegas fur coat? I think it was, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. she pulled that out. You know they can't see you in this one here, right? Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> you will think I'm talking to myself. Yeah. I'm here. Sorry. Uh, we're both here. We're having technical Yeah, moments. there's always a technical... We don't have a team of people doing this. It's just us. No. We have an honest thought happening from... Aladari. My that, hey, thought. that's Alex. How you doing? Oh, he thinks everything was preempted to get more publicity. That's it. That's a I'm, popular that theory. That is something that, I, that has crossed my mind. It crossed my mind that day. It yeah. crossed my mind moments after. Because I'm like, this is just something that it, it, it's so many things had to go wrong. That what are the odds of all these things all going wrong at once? I mean, it's possible. Yeah. I didn't think... but. I don't know. I don't think Mariah would want to tarnish her image with singing and lip syncing mm-hmm. just for publicity. Because it's not a good publicity stunt. And I know it's like always like, oh, no publicity is bad publicity, but yeah. this could be bad publicity. Hey, Lambs. Hey, Jairus. Um, I don't think if it was, Dick Clark's were not involved at all. True. It wasn't, yeah. If they would this, never if in a million this years. was for public- publicity, it was an inside job. Yeah. This is coming from Mariah and her team. They are the ones that did it. Which I don't think they would. I don't think so. Nah. I don't think Mariah would. Not at all. No. Maybe other people might, but not Mariah. Um, MC Forever. Everyone is on Dick Clark's Instagram commenting, apologize to Mariah. We addressed this in this episode. So we again, did address it in this episode, so definitely listen to it. Um, but we can expand on it if you want. Martin, what do you think? Apologize to Mariah? I don't think. I don't think either. Yeah. And we... Oh, also, what we missed in our episode, because we just finished it and aired it, Mariah finally broke her own silence. Oh, yeah. Just for... And she said she was mortified. 
Exactly. So right. five. Exactly. And she also said that Dick Clark, if he'd been around, he would not have allowed this to happen to an artist. Exactly. So she's putting it very politically correctly mm-hmm. and very safe, as opposed to like her other team member who speaks in different ways. Oh, here's a question we didn't mention in the podcast from Jarris. Do you think it was wrong they didn't cut the West Coast feed? Because <clears throat> when you... Uh, ABC, especially they do it every morning on Good Morning America, they, they do it live for the East Coast and then the West Coast gets it on a delay. So in that moment, you have a chance to edit it and like put things out, put things in. I mean, what tricky question. Tricky. Tricky question because Mariah's the headliner. Yeah. But if you cut the headlining act, she was the headlining act, and there's nothing to put in the place. There's just to be right. four they minutes of They don't have, like, a backup package. This is live yeah. TV. Yeah. They don't have, like, that, that safety net. So I don't think they could. I don't think they could. Um, so Lisa's saying, hi, I'm... Oh, she's the admin of Mariah Carey, Lambs of Norway. Hey. Hello. Share our podcast on your page, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a professional singer myself. And I have some experience with using in in ear monitors. I can't imagine how it is to sing at Times Square, but without the monitors, you're not going to be able to hear the right pitch, tempo, nothing. So that's what we keep saying. Like it's just better not to sing into it, so we don't right. get another Rockefeller situation. So that's why Mariah wasn't singing. She's like, I'm not. If I can't hear myself, I'm not doing this. Mm-hmm. It's done. It's it's a wrap. They cut the West Coast feed. From Sublime. They cut the Westford feed and edited it. Oh, they did? No, I, they I heard got that it. they did not. No, I, I heard they that got it, it was a full, a, yeah. full, a full on thing, but I don't know. Um, T Storm, why didn't I'm, they cut to commercial when they knew it was going downhill? You can't. They have no, they have no commercial backed up. I know. These are questions. And yeah. I, I mean, I don't work in the television production business, yeah. but I, I just feel like they just didn't have any backup. But I guess if it was really a disaster, they could have cut to something, right? They can do like those. They were trying to with those aerial shots, but I think nobody knew what was happening. Even the cameraman didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I do. I yeah. do recall they were doing a lot of aerial shots because they were cut. They had to cut away from certain things. I don't know. Good question. I I just don't think they were prepared. I don't know. But in six minutes, you can come up with something to save this, right? I just think I think everybody freaked out. Nobody knew what to do. This never happened before. Yeah. I think everybody was freaked out and nobody nobody could like get it together in enough time. Danish boy said they could have went back to Ryan. They could have done that. But I think Ryan wouldn't know what to do either. Yeah. They could have done something. That is I his do job. Suppose. I guess, yeah. I do suppose they could have done something. I think in our episode, I when I say because I go and talk about Mariah basically was left out there on her own. Nobody came to save her. Nobody came to check her mic pack. Mm-hmm. Nobody came to give her a new a new earpiece. Nobody did anything. Somebody should have came out there on stage and done something. Yeah. I do agree with that. No, I totally agree. Um, so some, someone there definitely dropped that ball. Because Mariah, she's probably stressed, thinking, what what do I do? I'm not definitely not singing, but somebody, please, help me. Exactly. She's um, probably screaming that in her head the entire time. Another popular question people have, how come the dancers have kept dancing? They just, they got I the routine in their head. I think that's a little different. Yeah. Because you can count five, six, seven, eight, and you know. Yeah. And you have the routine. They know the routine. They don't need picture. They don't need to hear themselves. They don't need to, they, right. It's and probably also, like memorized in their head. You don't have to hear the music to be a dancer because with those things, you also feel the bass. Mm-hmm. And so you're going to know. Yeah. Oh, this, yeah. Dancers are a little different, I would say. Mm-hmm. I, they don't, they don't need their ears. They're more physical. Because people keep saying, well, those, those few words she did sing, she was on point, but she just couldn't hear the pitch. Right. So she can't go ahead. She doesn't want to go ahead with it. Right. She doesn't want to go full but out. But the dancers probably know where they are in the song. They all knew where they were in the song. I think Mariah knew where she was as well. Just but she's hear not it. singing. She's not, she's gonna not sing. singing. Yeah. She's not singing. Uh-huh. I don't blame her. I wouldn't have either. But I don't think Mariah should have gone out there. I think somebody should have stopped it. And said, if y'all can't fix this, then I'm not doing it. Again, so we just released our our new episode of Moments. We call it the Mariah Apocalypse. (laughs) (laughs) Because everything went to shit real quick. (laughs) 
<laughs> real quick. So real quick. Find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher, and listen and share with your friends. Because it's a big controversial topic. Everyone's been talking about it still to this day. Everyone. Do you know what was the worst part? So what? I was watching it go down on ABC. And I was watching CNN with Anderson Cooper and Kathy Griffin for, earlier. So I was like, oh my God, let me just get out of this and go back to them. And straight away, one of the journalists ran up going, hey, did you see what happened to Mariah Carey? I'm like, oh. No. Like instantly. It was instantly like across that was the world. It. Across the world. Because everybody, it's Times Square, New York City. The ball drops right here. Everyone's eyes are here. Yeah. So no matter what channel you were watching, I mean, instantly you knew what happened to Mariah on ABC. Mm-hmm. Um, James says, at least the internet got some new iconic gifs. That's true. That is true. A, and you know, those are things yeah. that we can like <laughs> laugh at. That's... We have to, you always have to find the laughter in yeah. situations. So there have been some funny little cartoons and memes out there. Yeah. Um, although I, I was not happy with the New York Post posted one today. A little cartoon. A little joke. It was cute, yeah. but it's just like, come on, you could have drew Mariah a little better than that. A little. Uh, not cute. Um, Ricky Martel says she was being very professional by having the show go on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the show has to go on. The show does have to go on. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's really the worst situation. Uh-huh. There's nothing she could have done. She could not have said, stop everything right now. I'm just going to sing live. That wasn't going to happen either because she still can't hear herself. Exactly. And remember, this is not just like in, in like, you know, she's not at the Beacon Theater here. Mm-hmm. She's in like buildings. Sound is echoing. Huge crowd of screaming people. Yeah. She's not going to be able to hear herself at all. All right, hang on. We've got some... Oh, we got we, We've got to keep up. <gasps> I told you I can't see that far. Um, T-Storm says, this has been a depressing moment. I feel so awful for her. Yeah, we all know. It's horrible. We're, I, I'm still heartbroken. But we've, I guess we've all been here. We knew, we know what this is. So we're going to be okay. we made it through glitter. We have made it through the rain. Yep. Um, I just missed the name, but somebody asked us what we think about the upcoming tour. Um, Richie, and are we going to go? I am going to go. Have you got a ticket? No. Well, I... <laughs> but I'm going to go. We've learned that you <laughs> don't buy the Honey Bee Fly Pass anymore. Honey Bee Fly has taught us very well. Don't buy tickets until the last minute. Yeah. Because they're not selling out. But I do want to go just because, number one, I'm going to I'm gonna know what her set list is by then. Right. By the time she's here in New York. Uh-huh. So I know that it's going to be something I want to see. So yes. And number two... Um, I know what time she's coming out. I yeah. know when my bathroom break is. I know all of those things. Yeah. And then, you know, I'll buy a ticket at the last minute. Plus, I want to see her in Madison Square Garden perform. Like, yeah. that's iconic. Yeah, yeah, I want to do that, too. I've never seen her at Madison Square Garden. But we don't have tickets, so we're waiting for the last minute. Yeah. Like, I'll go if it's cheap, too. I'm not paying, like, hundreds of No, dollars. no, and I don't need to be up front, either. I'll no. sit back there. I'll be yeah. fine. Um, um, yes, the, Stephanie, the podcast is out. She's been refreshing her app. All day. Yay. So. Yeah, today we decided to, to go you, we ahead. We quench your thirst. <laughs> <laughs> I will quench your thirst. Um, we decided to put both out today because I know everyone's been asking us what our opinion is on this. So you got double dose of the Mariah Report. Mm-hmm. So SoundCloud, iTunes, all that. It's there for you. Um, James Johnson said, I think she deserves all the credit in the world for carrying on. I would have said F you and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> Not professional, but hey, they but won't hey, either. If they're going to fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with them. So yeah. I totally get that point. Can you swear on this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just make, If you're under 18... What if somebody does porn on this? Oh, I bet they do. Oh my god. I, all these things just come to my mind. <laughs> Um, yeah, Ricky Martel Billy Frank having her big moment yeah. <laughs> at the Square Garden <laughs> yes. you can't miss that that's true you can't miss it that's you true. can't miss it uh, oh so now no, I want to go actually go. now yeah, yeah we'll go we're gonna go we'll go of course we have to report we do um, and you know I can't miss Mar- a Mariah show when she's in town I gotta go <laughs> I do I'm just not excited I, but I need to know what I'm going into before I go yeah and I will because her show will, will have already started um what else do we got here? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of trauma in the land world right now. There is. Traumatized. We, we all heal. We will heal. We will carry on. Again, one of those memes that I was seeing earlier is, you know, this is what happened. Some, it was like, this is what happened last time people counted out Mariah Carey. And it was like the emancipation, emancipation of Mimi. Mimi. I mean, Mariah knows how to bounce back. She's like, at this point, she's an expert at it. Yeah. So we'll see. 
it's tough. Like, I'm... I don't know. It's tough to... Here's the thing. When Emancipation of Mimi happened, Mariah wasn't doing anything else. We have all these, like, side hustles that are kind of mediocre getting right now. Way. Getting in the way. That yeah, she also had her Ditch them all. Yeah. And they... She had... Well, she had Benny Medina for Emancipation of Mimi, and that really helped. Um, Aladari said, according to Stella, she's doing full set and hits. At the, at the, um... At the Lionel Richie. The Lionel Richie show. So a full well, I set, I guess, is. is Mariah is, is about an hour. Yeah, what's her... What was the Vegas show? Was it, like, an hour? The Beacon's I an didn't, hour. I didn't... I don't know, because she cancelled on me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> don't get me started on that one. T-Storm, we need new mu- music, I know. Yes, that's what we need. Well, hopefully, with the end of Mariah's World, mm-hmm. and the beginning of the tour, which is going to be about, what, maybe like a month and a half apart? Yeah. There will be some sort of new music, new song, something going on in Wait, there. Wait, hold the thought. I need a technical oh, moment. we're having a technical moment. That's fine. We just continue on. Carry on. Don't knock over these cameras, Mark. I'm not. I'm You'll catch very... a bad angle of me. I'm it trying. won't be good. Wait, I need to find the... Uh cord for the phone oh i think we're having a battery moment. a battery pack the battery, pack <laughs> battery moment but what do you think of the lighting here do you like it guys martin has the best lighting this although we're on instagram and facebook so we have two cameras and this one's giving me pink moments this one's giving me more blue this one with blue hue. but um you know pink yet lavender i like well, it i went to mariah's school and we cannot be seen yeah, yeah you come over to Martin's house, he got the lighting on. You will not have to worry about anything, girl. Yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> Fix your lighting, darling. Uh, love the pink get lavender light. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, how am I going to do this? All right, hang on. Just got to do this real quick. Uh-oh. Turn it the other way. Upside I didn't down. think it can do that. You can't turn it upside down? Yes, you can. Upside down? Yeah. But the camera's down there. It now we're upside matter. down. We're upside oh, down. We're upside, oh, we can't Look. read anything. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my bright Are ideas. Are you having splashes? No, we're it. actually not having splashes. No, we should have had splashes, though. Uh, this is just us. Oh, oh my God. It's all, <laughs> it's into, all going to shit now. New Year's Eve. <laughs> this is what Mariah I told through. you, don't knock over my camera. Oh, my um, okay. All right, do you think Brian comforted her on the first... <laughs> Do you think he, he, he calmed her nerves? Um, probably <laughs> not. Yeah. I don't know what those two are up to. You didn't those care. two. All right, guys, but I haven't gone away. Don't go kids. anywhere. We're right those here. wild kids. Okay, there's there one. Go. There we go. There's one. All right, now we're back. We're back. See, technical glitches happen to everyone. It is. Oh, you... gosh. Okay, so we host Mariah's World at Rise Bar in New York City. Which is tons of fun. If you're in New York yeah. land, you gotta uh, come out. I'm just trying to situate this thing. I'm having difficulties. Um, I feel like you're just leaving me high and dry in this in this shot. I'm like, just me. Oh, don't forget about the Lego movie. The Lego Batman coming February. Oh yeah, that's coming out next February month. February 10th. Oh. I did forget about that. Uh, Mariah's... Me too, sure did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and also next month Mariah's gonna be doing a show in Dubai, I believe. Right? A, a festival in Dubai. Yeah, they have like a jazz festival or something? Something like that. I don't know what they do over there. Um, but she's doing that, so that'll be a good thing too. It probably will be an amazing performance and nobody will hear about it. Because that's how Mariah goes. But whatever. Um, we we'll got some more. This insane. So, Colm George, I hope I said your name right, says... Uh, what do you think about Stella making the comment about Mariah ending her holiday early for the New Year's Eve performance? And we, in, tune into our podcast. Tune into our episode. Because we, we just t- aired it. We definitely covered that topic. Yeah. Um, when there's a lot that goes into that, like it's a it's a like a it's nonsense. a comment that didn't yeah. need to be made. Nonsense. Basically. Yeah. Um, because whether Mariah cut her vacation short or not, that has nothing to do with it. It's, it's just, a, it's an unnecessary comment. Even if it is true, it doesn't need to be said. I agree. Because Mariah is getting something out of this. She's not doing them it's a publicity, favor. publicity, yeah. It's publicity. It's, it's a, it's a give and take. So she's not doing them a favor. No, absolutely not. They're doing, they're both doing each other a favor. Yeah, it's a typical situation. Because they both get something out of it. Exactly. So, that's what that is. In my personal opinion. 
Um, Ricky Martel says, Mariah has been dropping hints about a new song she has been working on. So do you think it will drop? Have you heard any news about it? We've heard nothing. I thought it was going to drop on New Year's Eve. Yeah, we thought we were going to get a new song moment. But yeah. no. I think there is something because we have been hearing whispers and talks and we know she's in the studio. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to happen before the tour. Mm-hmm. I think so. So end of Mariah's World, then the tour. Somewhere in between there, we're going to get at least a new single. Um... Jeremy Altsbrook said, do you guys think Stella always has Mariah in her best interest? Next question. Next question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, Yusuf Rad said, Stella said to emphasize the fact that they should be grateful that she, you know, that she was there for New Year's Eve. Uh, Mariah should be grateful that someone wants to give her a headlining spot. Yeah, spot. there uh-huh. should be gratitude all around on both sides. Yeah. Um. Did he ask a question over there too, or no? Where Jeremy? Oh. I don't know. I just see things popping and. I know you guys are like blowing us up. I'm trying to keep up with it. Uh, why isn't Rachel in Mariah's world? Well, Rachel isn't uh, part of the the um, the circus. Mm-hmm. Um, she is taking, she's living her own life right now, so she's not there. But you know what else we, we, oh, sorry, go ahead, read what question Let me get, get it before it goes away. Um, it's King World, it's King's World, said, do y'all think... <laughs> <laughs> are y'all thinking? People generally don't want Mariah to win. I feel they sabotage her on, I feel, oh, she feels like there's, she was sabotaged on New Year's Eve. It's amazing to me how people can be so mean to a living legend. Well, here's the thing. I think people in general in this day and age that we're living in, they want to see people fail. Because it does make an Instagram, YouTube moment. Right. And, you know, when people hate on people, it's because they want to feel better about themselves. So let me put that person down and I'm going to be better. So I do believe that people are out to, they, they love to crucify Mariah. I don't know why. It's just, I, I don't know if it's human nature. I don't have it. I'm not here to talk shit and, and put people down. You do you, I do me, and we'll, we'll be just fine. But unfortunately, Mariah's like the punching bag. I don't understand oh, it. They love. Live for her failing. They just live for her to fail. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things I will never understand. <laughs> ever. It, it's, there's so much built into that. Like, there's already... She's falling under um, ideas of women that are pre-programmed into the public psyche. That's true. Women don't do that. They're not supposed to be successful and intelligent yeah, and sexual. You, yeah, who are you telling? I don't want to get because, into that. <laughs> let's not get into that, but I'm just saying, if that was a man up there on stage having technical difficulties, I'm sure people would not be as harsh oh, as no they way. are. Oh, no way. Because it would have been Ryan. the technology that's the problem. Right, not, of course. Not the, uh, performer. Not, the, not the singer, not the artist, not the you know production, none of that. It would just be like, oh, it's okay. Stephanie wants to know, I haven't finished the new episode, did you address Brian Tanaka's ex-girlfriend? What? Tell us more. Yeah. Um, I don't us, know please. her. I don't know her either. I don't know her either. I never followed him like that, even though I always want to, you know, be like, hey, what's Brian Tanaka up to? But I don't know. Why? Is there a scandal with his girlfriend? Did he, like, did he propose and then, like, call off the engagement? I think I saw a Mariah photo of them together. Is she cute? Nice. Now I'm gonna have to Google it, <laughs> Stephanie. But so, but thanks for asking. She wasn't wearing a bodysuit. That's what I know. Um, she wasn't wearing a. Are you saying she was in porn? No. Oh, <laughs> she just had regular clothes on. Oh. Oh. What? The ex-girlfriend of Brian Tanaka posted a video of the NYE performance, calling it karma. Oh, she... Oh, she came that way? Oh, that's what she did? (laughs) And said Mariah was a trashy sugar mama. Oh, she (laughs) was... I'm gonna have to call her. (laughs) She just goes... Who is she? She just wants to have her 15 minutes. She just goes... I don't know her 15 minutes. That's what she wants. Yeah, she goes... I'm yeah. going to let her have her 15 minutes and I'm going to come over to her house and knock her upside the damn head. Uh-huh. 
No, I didn't see any of that, but that is just not right. I'm not down for that. I will have to let her have it. Mm-hmm. Um, what's uh, that look at all these people are commenting here, and you're not reading any of them. Uh, guys, I didn't have two <laughs> eyes. I, 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 <laughs> we need an assistant. We need we a Molly. Do. We need read. a Molly. Where is our Molly? Um, that could have sounded like, where's our Molly? Like, you know how they call it drug Molly? I think, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's let's catch somebody. All right. Somebody get one of these people. Lambs of Norway. Did you see the Christmas shows at the Beacon Theater? Yes. yes. They were great. They were fantastic. Martin went to a lot of them. I only was able to attend one because I was busy, busy, busy. But we went to the first one together, and it was amazing. Yeah, she sounded great. She caught a cold. She yeah. said it herself. She has a cold. She said it on stage, and she said it on Seth Meyers. Yes, she I think. did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and. She sounded like she had a cold, but she's still saying really well. Yeah, I, I, well, I think on the first day, I don't think her cold would have fully formed yet. No, she sounded, so she sounded really perfectly fine. fine. Yeah. But even from the YouTube videos that I saw, she still sounded great, and I'll take her with a cold over, uh, like the album track. Oh, for sure, for sure. Anything over yeah. playing the CD, definitely. Which she almost got busted doing. When on New Year's Eve, she oh, played the on CD. New Year's Eve. <laughs> yes. Start singing to the CD. Because if it didn't go wrong, she would have sung to that CD track. Well, the yeah. The album version. <laughs> we still would have got our live moments. We would have. But, mm-hmm. I don't know. There's a part of me that thinks she should have just lip synced the whole damn thing. And then... Oh, know. yeah. just to... But then she'd be crucified for lip syncing. So there is no win-win. Okay. This is no win situation. It just wouldn't work. Did Mariah say she was really excited about her new track? She did. She did on Andy Cohen. Remember I told oh, you in yeah, that extra yeah, thing? She yeah. said that she's working on a song right now and she is very, very much in love with it. Uh-huh. So I think that might be the song that we will be hearing hopefully soon. James Edge 87 said, Andy Cohen recently said on Twitter that he couldn't understand what happened. He went to the Beacon show, the Beacon Theater. He was there. Yes, he was. He was there. Right, because it's not the fact that it was... Not the fact that Mariah couldn't sing. Mm-hmm. We just heard her singing at the Beacon Theater. Mm-hmm. So it's not like in a week and a half she'd lost all ability to sing. Yeah. What happened is the technical problems were too many yeah. for her to be able to, in the instant, recuperate and recover. Mm-hmm. And it's not her fault. Nope. Haters. Haters. Um, okay, Lisa... Johansson says, have you ever met Mariah? And how was it? I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> and I don't want to. I mean, I do, but I don't. Because I know I'll get real nervous. And I'll start sweating and, and crying and, and crying. fainting and everything. Yes. So I have not, but I'm not actively trying to. If it happens, I want it to be organic. It's always better go organic. Yeah. You don't want to, like, be hunting her down outside her house. No. Not that I've done that. <laughs> Maybe well, tell them about five your... times. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have met Mariah many times. I've met her for the first time, November third, nineteen ninety nine, in Chicago for the Rainbow Album signing, and it was amazing. And I've met her many times since then, and she is always nothing but gracious, beautiful, kind, and like you know, when we see these fan moments on um, Mariah's world, I don't know why I was pointing over there. It's really genuine how she is with her fans in person. Like, she will stop everything. She gives you her full attention. Even if it's just 30 seconds you get with her, she is fully with you for that 30 seconds. And that's Present. what is, that's what, why I, I still love her. Because if I met her, like, the 50 million times I have met her, and she was ever a bitch, I would be like, no, you better don't, ma'am. But she was never. She was always so nice. So nice. And... You know, no matter what the situation was, whether backstage, in front of a million people, outside in the freezing cold, it doesn't matter. She's always so nice. And everybody always says that when they meet her. Yeah. That she was super nice, nice to work with, professional. Right. And there's always going to be haters. But on our podcast, The Mariah Report, we're going to start including a segment where we get uh, stories of Mariah's lambs meeting her. Yes. So that'll be coming up this year in 2017. Yeah, we're taking a break in Feb mm-hmm. from Moments. You'll still get back in time, but Moments will be off the air. Unless something major happens, like a song release or something. Yeah. Um, so, 
Sarah, I want to say. I hope I said it right. Hey, 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 lambs, your Uzzy. Hey, what's up? Good day. <laughs> Good day, your people. Yeah. Uh, do you think she'll come to us after the James era finished? I'm seeing her in Dubai next month. Oh, you lucky. Oh. She's going. There you go. Will she go back to Australia? Yeah, she will. Eventually. She'll go back to everywhere. As long as those checks are coming, she's going. Yeah. And she's... she's This year has been so full of tours with Mariah that mm-hmm. she, I think she's comfortable on stage again. Hey, Michael Mutt. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, so, yeah, I think we can expect her to be all over the world. Yeah. Like, she's going to be in Dubai. And then she's doing this North American tour, so... Yeah, I think so. Oh, um, one more thing too. Said I suggest everybody look up Dan's appearance on Rosie's short-lived talk show in Chicago. Oh yes, thank you for pointing that out. Dan got a little hug moment with Mariah. You can see that on um, Instagram. No, my personal Instagram. Yeah. Um, which is M C D E one nine three one. There's a video, short little video clip of that. That was a fun moment. Um, Lisa Johansson again says, Oh my god, I dream of going to NYC and I would probably stand outside Franklin Tower the whole time. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You might ruin... <laughs> <laughs> you might ruin your makeup or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, plus, she's never around. You never know she's when she's home. There, she's yeah. here, there, and everywhere, so you could be doing all of that in vain. But... Just grab a snap and... You know, I... There's so I, many other things to do in your I do not condone stalking Mariah at her apartment. I think it's a little crossing the line. Yeah. But it, it, I know for us lambs... Is it like it's a like shrine? A, it, not a shrine. It's it's um a New York City monument that you have to sort of see. So just, you know, just go there. Yeah. Take Eight. your picture, do your business, and then <laughs> don't stand outside waiting for her. Yeah. Um, Adrian Dalton wants to... No. Do you think she should be calling up Domaine Dupree and Debrat for the next album? Well, I think she's already working with them. Well, I don't know about Debrat, you know but Debrat. Jermaine... I could do a Debrat remix. I, I'll take a Debrat remix any day of the week, because, yeah. you know, that little bitch. We love she's Debrat. Good. Yeah. Um, but who she's working with now is that Crystal girl. Who that did songwriter. MC Squared Yeah, like she songs. did Touch My Body and all that kind of stuff. She's working with her very closely right now, uh-huh. so... Um, I think we can... Expect something co-written yeah. by her. I forget her name. Oh, Do yeah. What's remember? her name? I forgot her name, too. I uh, forget. Um, by the way, don't forget to go to iTunes and SoundCloud and download our two new episodes. We have Looking In, Mariah's World, which we talk about episode four of Mariah's World. All that Molly business. All the nonsense. We kind of complained a little bit in this yeah, one. Yeah, because it wasn't the best episode. It wasn't. It's like, we want... Mariah, we don't want Molly. We're not here for Molly. Or Stella or any of them. It, to be honest. Like, I'll take Mariah... Oh, my ring just fell off. Um, I'll take Mariah, Christopher Buckle, Danielle, Priyano... And Jen Babies. And the Babies. That's all I want, really want. That's it. But anyways... And Maria. Oh, and keeper. Maria. We can't forget about Maria. Maria's been missing for like two episodes. Oh my I'm god. Really mad. We need to call the customer service line and <laughs> tell them, put her on the screen. Where did my ring... Where you just lost... Oh, here it is. just lost his diamond <laughs> engagement Sorry. ring. No, it didn't. No. <laughs> fell off. Um, another question from... Uh, I hope I'm saying it right. Sarah Brown. Um, why do you think they blurred out trailer into Fates and Mariah's world? I, that's a question we've sort of answered. I love Trey-isms, especially... Oh, yeah, like Trey. Oh, yeah, That's a course. good one, yeah. trey like Home of the Fish Sandwich. Uh, he's funny and so talented. That is true. He's it is funny true. and talented. I, we really don't know why he's blurred out. It has to be... It's either he didn't want to be a part of it. Yeah. Or they had to pay him and it wasn't enough. I don't know. I, I don't know, know if like, he's contractually under some other obligation where he can't show his face. Or if it's just a pers- personal decision. It could be either way. But it's. I don't think it's anything bad. I don't think it's a bad thing between him and Mariah. Do you agree, Martin? Because you're just no, looking trying, like, like... No, I'm trying to get the comments. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch everyone. Um, our friend Johnny Kaloje says, I love Maria. I love Maria. Johnny has a show coming out this month, and we... I forgot to mention it in the podcast oh. this week, but well, we have three more now. weeks, I think. Tell me the information right now, Johnny, and I'll live stream it. <laughs> Type it up <laughs> right really quick. <laughs> yeah. um, Michael Mark, he probably didn't sign the release. Yeah, but right. I think just doesn't want to be on it. But I mean, believe me, if they really wanted him on it, he they would have found him to sign the release. 
Yeah, but there, he does. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a storyline in it, so it's not. Yeah, he's worth not. it for him to be on it. Exactly. Like he's not in a fight with Stella, or no. maybe he is. I don't know. Um, he's not, you know, dating Mariah. He's not doing any of that. So there's no storyline. So I guess maybe he just doesn't want to be seen. Yeah, I think so. And that's fine. I'm Michael Mott has a it. show. Michael Mott has a show out as well. Yes, Michael he does Mott. every Wednesday, right? At the Kaufman Theater in Astoria, Queens. Go to his page, Michael Mott. On Facebook. Uh, Jeremy says, nothing bad. Oh, nothing bad between them. He was at the Beacon and has been since before the first album. Yeah, I don't think there's yeah, anything bad I don't think at it's all. B- bad blood between him and Mariah at all. Mm-hmm. None, none of that. None of that. Lambs of Norway, what do you think of Brian? Is it real? Well, we spoke on that on this episode. It's all nonsense. And I hope it's not real because it's going to be Nick 2.0. We don't know how that Even turned out. Even though I like Brian Tanaka a lot better than I like Nick, um, I think it's all a sham. I think it's ridiculous. I don't care. I don't want to see it. It's all stupid. It's all storytelling. Michael Mark, miss you boys. We should go out to the Kaufman Theatre. We really should. When's Mariah Night? Tell us. We'll come out for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're there if it's Mariah Night. Yeah. No, we really should. We've discussed it before, but I think like our schedules just don't work out. But I know my passport has to get renewed before I go over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Queens. girl. I, oh, last time I went out to Brooklyn, girl, I got lost. But this one's in Queens. Queens is a little bit better. We know how to get there. We know how to get there. What did we, we go there for? We had a photo shoot out there. Oh, that's right. That's right. But we still got a little lost. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I don't travel outside of this. <laughs> oh, no one can sing. Mariah songs. Hmm? I think that's what he meant. Oh. Oh, that's right. No. It's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough... But we should still go anyways. Cause I'm yeah, sure I want to go. It's a cute place. I think it's Wednesdays. Yeah, I want to check out the place too, the venue. Yeah. Looks very really like old school New York-esque. Yeah. Fun spot. Keep that in mind for our social calendar. Can you please do more live streams? You're a fab. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Fun. I mean, we got a little extra time. Yeah. Um, so here we are. And I know that, like, all the lambs have been, like, asking us for all of our feedback and our thoughts on the whole situation. So we're like, let's give it to them live. Exactly. And if you guys could share our the link to the podcast on your pages, that would be a huge help for us. It makes a big right. difference. Because you never know where that, like, random lamb is hiding. Right. It could be in your friend list. Exactly, like when we go out and we do our show at the Rise for Mariah's World, we oh, host that. Yeah, I've met so many lambs. I'm like, yeah. how do I not know you? Uh huh. It's so crazy. There's so many lambs out there, and you would never know it. I know. So shout out to all those new lambs I met just this past week. Um, let's talk about the way Stella's handling the news situation, because that's right. a sore spot for the lambs. We're getting a lot of negative feedback on Stella. We've, I think Stella's been put on full blast. I mean, if you go to Stella's this. Facebook page, people are calling her some names. Stuff of no girl. Much. I would not These say it out people loud. Have hate in their heart for Stella. Jesus. And then, are I, you sure that we're not getting questions here? I think you have to scroll that up, Martin. Did I freeze it? Uh-oh. I think you did. Uh-oh. You're missing all of these things. Technical difficulties. Sorry. Sorry Instagram. It's Molly's fault. <laughs> Blame Molly. Uh-oh. Well, look at all these questions we missed. Uh-oh. Hang on. Wait. Everybody repost what you... <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Um, I want to be live in NYC. Marry me, Dan. Oh, you're getting a proposal. Oh, how you doing? Y'all, Chris. I am single, so... You can marry Chris, you can get a European passport. Oh my god, I could. I've it, never been. It could I want to go. Ways. Oh, it's... Alright, right, deal. Sign it. Let's sign it. Uh-huh. We'll do it. You guys are engaged! That's so cute! <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Our first lamb engagement. Yay! <laughs> no, there have been other ones. Remember all those lambs that get engaged on, like, Mariah's show at, like, Vegas? Or yeah. Or stuff like that? But you should tell Chris that you need a 35 carat... Diamond. I don't even need a diamond, but maybe $35,000. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do with a diamond? Oh, wait. Danish boy. Oh, there's a, a Twitter fight. An oh, no. Instagram fight. Danish boy. Uh, he's claimed you first. I mean, what can I say? All right, I'll take I caught up. All. Okay. Okay, you caught up with everything now? Yeah. All right. Um, wait, is this one not working? No, it's working. All right, so MC... Oh, Aladari, MC 
has new music coming out this year and Christmas shows in Vegas and NY. Yes. That's right. That is right. I don't know how I feel about Christmas in Vegas. I don't either, but I think she sort of owes a favor to Caesars for rescheduling her she does. last leg. So I think that's her favor to them. Because it's going to sell. Well, she knows it sells here. Well, right, but you know what I mean? Because she had to reschedule that whole chunk of dates yeah. to go on this Lionel Richie tour. Yeah. So they probably were like, well, you better give us something. And she's like, I'll, I'll go there for Christmas if you allow me to move my concerts. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Danish Boy, I can be Dan Tanaka. Oh, hi. Uh, sign me up. <laughs> I need a magic Tanaka. <laughs> okay, I found one. But he's going to have to jump out of a cake for you. That's fine. I need a when's gyration moment. Yeah, oh birthday? my god, my birthday's coming up. Okay. In like three weeks. Danish boy, we have to arrange a cake. <laughs> <laughs> and I just need champagne, my little champagne to pour. Oh yeah, we can do that. Um, Irma, the flying bee. When do you think Mariah's new music will be released. I think I was just saying this a little while ago. I think after Mariah's World, but before the start of the All the Hits tour. Oh, yeah. So she, she has a song to sing on the Hits tour? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I really want the Mariah Carey Snow Globe. Where can I get one? You get them from the Beacon shows. Right, but he wants one that like he can find online because obviously he didn't go to the Beacon shows. They used to be on MariahCarey.com in the shop. But Are they they're not gone. There they're gone. I they checked. sold out. Yeah. They must have sold out. I'm surprised that no one has it on eBay, but I guess not because obviously he's looked. They're holding on to that shit. If I had one, I'd give it to you. I don't have one because I was not going to pay twenty dollars for that piece of shit. No, <laughs> it's plastic and janky. It's plastic. You can get a better one at the dollar store. It just doesn't have Mini Mariah in it. You can put your own Mini Mariah in put there. Put your own Mini Mariah in there. That's what sucks about it. Anyways. Sorry you can't find that, Liam. I'm sure it's someone it will pop up somewhere for you. Hashtag Magic Tanaka. I mean, yeah. No, ma'am. <laughs> um, okay, again, guys, go to our um, iTunes and SoundCloud page because we have a new episode of Moments and we're talking about the Mariah Apocalypse that we lovingly have named the situation. It's all in love because you know we love her but it was it literally felt like the apocalypse watching that live. Like yep. and then the fallout of the blow up on social media it was the apocalypse Mariah Apocalypse. It, it was just it was literally devastating yeah. all the way through. Yep. But we've survived we will carry on we will make it through the rain. Yeah I keep saying we've been here before we know this place. Yeah. We'll get out of it. So be sure to tune in to this week's episode of Moments because we cover all angles and we got a lot of lamb mail lambs were very vocal about this as they should be um shoot you guys are blowing us up again oh my gosh wait I had a good question oh Jeremy duet with Lionel everybody's just <laughs> talking about endless love being I think thing. it's definitely going to be an endless love I think that's going to be like what pulls people in I'm excited for that. I think it will be perfect. Do you think... <laughs> what if they don't sing it? Well, then somebody needs to be shot because that's another missed opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you know who they'll come for. Stella. Well, everybody's going to come for Stella if it doesn't happen, so she better make it happen. Listen, she put herself in the fr in the forefront. That's right. She's the punching so, bag. So now you put yourself out there in the firing range, so... If you sh sorry about it, like ooh, I was just reading those comments on her Facebook page. They are so mean. Like Mariah gets hate, but this was like these vicious. people are vicious, vicious stuff, vicious. But like, secretly, Mariah, the when, secretly when a little people, bit funny. I was like laughing, fucking hysterical. <laughs> um, like when people talk shit about Mariah, they're like, oh, she can't sing. She's over. She's over. Like blah blah blah. Yeah. But like these people come for Stella. Like, ooh, lord. Come for Stella, like they're trying to kill her or something. Mariah Rainbow. Oh god, we have so many questions. Um, let's do a speed round. Okay. Um, did you guys watch the new Mariah's World trailer? Yes, we did. Yes. I can't wait to see, like, oh my god, like the Brian Tanaka, all this nonsense. There's still gonna be some great moments, but I want more Mariah. I want more behind the scenes of the tour, and I want more Mariah. <laughs> um, um, the Flying Bee. Uh, oh my god, Mariah and Lionel should sing Endless Love 
on some TV show to promote the tour. Exactly. Ooh. Smart good idea. idea. Good Suggest- idea. Suggestion box moment. Put that in the suggestion box. Hello from Brazil. Hi. Wait, we have a good thing over here. What's your favorite song slash album? That's tough. Well, I said in today's episode of Looking In, Mariah's World, episode four, mm-hmm. um, that Close My Eyes is my favorite song of all time. Uh, and then Butterfly, obviously, is my favorite album. Yeah. But I mentioned it because they use that song um, in a fan segment moment where Mariah meets the Lambs and the Lambs talk about their love. And that is a very personal song. So Mariah gave it a little do justice uh, my favorite album has to see. It's so hard to pick your favorite album, so I try to force myself. Like I'm gonna jail, and I can take one album. You can only take one. What would that be? I think it would be Butterfly. And the song would be The Roof. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. But, but I do love Close My Eyes. No, because I would have more entertainment from The Roof. That's fine. But I love you Close My Eyes to... and Outside and all that stuff. And the Unless you're Butterfly saying Reply, your favorite Mariah <laughs> song is Bring It On The Heartbreak, you do not have to defend yourself. Your favorite song can be your favorite song. But it's tough because like switches. Because then one day we've owned together as your favorite song. Or then favorite is your favorite song. Well, that's why a long time ago I decided that my absolute favorite go-to Mariah song of all time, number one on every list, is Close My Eyes. Everything else fluctuates for me. Uh, um, okay, so let's get back to the questions. You guys, people love Outside. Yeah, Outside is great. Outside is... Uh, I mean, there's so many songs on Butterfly that are amazing. The I'd Breakdown like Imagination that. Remix. What's that? The Breakdown Imagination Remix? Hang on, what is that? Clarify, please. Do you mean the I Still Believe? The I Still Believe Imagination. I yeah. Still Believe. Hang on. That's Oh, that is one of my favorite remixes. Oh, but I do love the Breakdown Mo Thugs Remix. Oh, I love all of that. Yeah. I love every I love version of Breakdown. <laughs> but I really love the Roof... Um, Mob Deep remix. The, like the video, the video version. version. Yeah. The video version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, I wouldn't even mind if that album got switched out for the... Like, those tracks were switched out for the remix tracks. For, like, to put it on, for, the, on album. the album. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad at that either. Okay, Joseph Gwynn said, I'm from Dallas and told Candy Like Mariah she was mentioned in the podcast. Yes! She was like, I made it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> She's made it. Hit the big time now, Candy! <laughs> her outfit was hot tamale. Yeah, go to our Instagram page that you're probably already on. And look for the photo of Candy Like Mariah. We reposted it. That nutcracker dress Mariah wore at the Divas Live this year. And she recycled it for the beacon. Candy Like Mariah. I want to find out how she did this. How, you, we might have to she get her on the show. Made, I want to know she made how a, she yeah, made that. She made like, an exact replica of it. I guess, you know, these queens, girl, they are dressmakers. You, get a glue gun and some glitter. And That's you can it. Make That's anything. It. Right there. She killed it. That was one of my, like, favorite Mariah, like, in person. I guess it's not, I guess it's an impersonation or... Um, you know what I'm trying to say. Homage. Homage. Impersonation, yeah. I love it. Um, oh, Craig Rodriguez said, I'm glad Stella called out DCP on their shit. I didn't think... Uh, well, I don't know if I'm controversial glad about topic. That. Yeah, that's a controversial topic there because uh, you can't. I think, me personally, I think it's unprofessional to point fingers and blame people. I think th- she should not have called them out the way she did. Um, even if it's true, be it's, quiet. It's, you don't say it. Yeah. You just get them to then issue an apology if that was the case. But I think the, the, the blame does not lie on one person here. It's, this is a, a lot of people malfunctioning in their role in the production and on Mariah's team. Yeah. Um, we have... Oh gosh, you guys are blowing us up. We love it. Uh, okay. Do you, Mariah Rainbow, do you guys think if Mariah would do a stripped down performance, if it would clean up what the general public thinks about at the moment? Oh, you mean like MTV Unplugged? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Anything singing, Mariah, music, I'll take it. Yes, if you've been listening to any of the most recent episodes of our Moments uh, podcast, the, the Mariah Report, yeah. we've been saying we need more singing. Less of Mariah doing these... TV shows and less of those things. I know in today's world you sort of have to, but 
we also need her singing and mm-hmm. we don't have enough of that and then when we do have her singing in new year's eve in times square this is what the disaster comes so this is not helping us at all so yes we still need that magical live performance on tv yeah. we get these magical performances at the beacon theater in vegas you know, we'll probably have magical moments on this All the Hits tour with Lionel Richie, mm-hmm. but it needs to be in front of 11 million people. Yeah. Not 10,000. I agree. Um, Jeremy Alsbrook says, yes, she would be at a morning show with her piano. Yeah, she needs... Boom. Simple. Gotta do that again. No frills, no glittery bodysuit. Just sit there and sing and let these people have it. I'm waiting for that moment. Um, oh, it's King's World. What's your least favorite Mariah album? Mine's Rainbow. What? Okay, you can just think that. Mine is Memoirs, <clears throat> hands down, in a flash. Throw that shit in the really? bin. Really? No, sometimes when I go back and listen to Memoirs, I'm like, oh, this is actually cute. Mm, I like some songs, but as an album, get rid of it. Yeah, ooh, what would I say my least favorite album? I automatically want to say it's Music Box. Wait, everybody, all of you online right now, least favorite album, shout them out. Shout them out. I think mine's Music Box, but I still love it because vocally it's so great and there are amazing songs like Anytime You Need a Friend and Hero and all of that. Yeah. But because it's so ballad heavy, I feel like it's a boring album. Like, when I listen to that album, when I want to go to sleep, it puts me to sleep. Ah. Uh. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. So I love it, but it's probably like... Charm bracelet. My okay. Oh, MC love, Squared. Oh, I love... Oh, I love all of those. Charm bracelet. Oh, it's a couple of charm bracelet haters. I think... Well, I think it's because of her vocals. My least favorite bracelet. is Emotions. Oh, yeah, oh, Emotions. Oh, no, not Emotions. Oh, that Emotions is one of my top three. Memoirs is gold for the album. Anything by J-Lo. You're not listening to the question. <laughs> Wrong question. Wrong. Mariah album. <laughs> Music Box, Rainbow. Anything by J-Lo. We've got a few Anything by J-Lo's. I Mariah albums, have any people. Of her albums. I, have I no... liked the first two albums. I never owned any and I of liked her the, albums. But I know her songs. <laughs> this is a funny question. MC Squared, album full of singles. Love you guys. Hey. Oh, hey, Denny's here. Oh, hey. We were just talking about you earlier, Denny. Oh, you. Denny turned into our podcast because you are in our land mailbox. Yes. So you must tune in to this week's episode. Nico Moments. hates butterfly. Joking. Yeah, you better <laughs> I was be. Gonna say. I think any lamb hates butterfly, you're out of the club. Yeah, you might be out of the club. Exiled. For like good. it might not be your favorite album, that's okay, but you can't say you hate it. No. That's like <laughs> that's like the no no. That's like New Year's Eve Times Square talk. Those are fighting <laughs> words. Yeah. Uh, I still love Charm Blaze at worst for Mariah is still amazing. Okay. What does everyone think of the Glitter album? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Because I would say I love the Glitter album. Oh, I love the Glitter album. I love the Glitter album. Butterfly sounds so, as fresh today. It does sound as fresh today. Timeless. Classic. Um, Dawn. Hi, Dan. Hi. Dan Single. Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> who? <laughs> I don't know who. I can't see. Martin's are my eyes here. Sarah, love glitter. Love glitter. Everyone loves glitter. He's, all right. Love glitter. Love glitter. Love yeah. Album two. I love the glitter album. Glitter is one of my favorite albums. Glitter's strong vocals. Very strong vocals. I love glitter. Lover boy is my jam. Ooh, lover boy. Lover boy's great. Let's talk about how nasty lover boy is. Those lyrics are so nasty. She is so nasty, but I love it. Oh yeah, I love it. This is fun. We should do this more often. We should do this Just more hanging often. Hanging out with the lambs. <laughs> Um, she should put out more singles on Glitter. I know we all agree, but you know, well, Glitter became a fiasco, and Glitter they had was to sort of shut that shit down. Well, Glitter was our first disaster in Mariah Land. Remember? Um, yeah, Glitter was our first disaster, but we learned a lot. We did through the years on how to handle disasters. Yeah, so we're pros. But yeah, we just you know buckle up. I want to know. Oh, here's the thing: I bet a lot of lambs weren't in it real time. I was. I know. I was there too. Ooh, it was bad. Because you wouldn't know, like this, like the New Year's Eve would be a complete disaster if you're a new lamb. 
because you've never had this before. Right, you've never like it's been lived in it. through it. Yeah, you never got all oh, those text messages in the morning. Right, asking still if you're okay. Text messages making sure that I'm okay, mentally Today. stable. But yeah, that I'm okay. Like I'm fine. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. What do you guys think of the last night DJ Save My Life video? I liked it. I, I thought it was perfect. Yeah. It was exactly what they needed to do for it. I mean, I know it's like cheesy, chink, chinky, like homemade. Yeah. But I like it. Okay. Someone um, is like flying away. Bradley Emanuel. I wasn't even born during glitter. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> He's a little bit, I wish I was that young. No, yeah, actually, I wish I was older. Why? Just because I wanted, I wanted to like experience... Be older and experience uh, Mariah's like debut from the top. Yeah, because I was eight years old, so there's so much that I missed. I'm I'm sure you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. So. Uh. You guys are blowing up again. <laughs> um, the label didn't let Mariah release faded. Yeah. How did we find that out? We um, that. Someone asked the, her at the Beacon Theater. Somebody someone asked her. Asked yeah. Asked her, and they're like, they wouldn't let me. Mariah Rainbow, I'm turning 14 on Sunday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy, birthday. happy anniversary. A January baby. I'm a January baby too. Oh, I'm a November baby. Yeah, but Martin never tells anyone when his birthday is. So like, it just I don't goes have by. I just... <laughs> if he doesn't, so I was like, you, you bitch, you forgot to tell me it was your birthday. And so we missed it. So many baby lambs out there. I know, we love the baby lambs. But then you guys miss glitter, so this yeah. So like, well, you, listen, you, you didn't live through glitter, then this is even more devastating for you. Well, let, let us, the older lambs, tell you <laughs> that we've been through this, and it was glitter. Oh my god, it was just literally. It's I think it's like the same level of just humiliation. That's because that's what glitter was. It was the humiliation of the failure of glitter, and it just turned <clears> into <throat> a, a, a emotional physical breakdown. Yeah. And it, it really, the, the root of all that was the humiliation of that. Can you make sure that this Facebook one is, like, a good angle for all of us? Because you're oh. not in it, number one. And you're giving too much of my bad side. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's giving us a headache. Oh. There you go. Hang on. Let's, um... Sorry, Facebook. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Now just Back don't let it fall. Back to the thing. Um, Danish boy. Uh Oh, I feel this was worse than glitter. Okay. In, a, in some ways it, it is because this is like an actual performance where she could not perform. Where glitter was just like everything surrounding glitter. And Mariah's little breakdown or whatever, which was all behind the scenes. No one saw her breakdown. We just had that TRL moment. That was it. And that's nothing. This speaks to Mariah's talent, to her ability to still perform. So this, in a lot of ways, is maybe... I can't say it's worse, but it's it's definitely on that level. You know? Angel Arad... Ariaja? I hope I said it right. I probably didn't. Uh, it's all about the media. One minute they love you, the other minute they trash you, the public eats it up. That's true. It's true. But Mariah fed that with this like it happened like whatever I don't care how right. it happened this it happened. isn't doing her any favors yeah. like it's not her fault shit happens we all know it but yeah they love to hate they mm -hmm. love to hate uh, Stephanie Rafferty what's hilarious is all the haters said Mariah is only relevant during Christmas or who said that um, are being proved wrong <laughs> well, you know, sort of like what did Ryan Seacrest say after her performance? He's like, no matter what, no matter what she does, they love her. They love her. They the audience goes nuts for whether it's good or bad. So, I guess at least we got that. We're getting a wrap up signal. Oh, you can only go live for a certain amount of time. Well, we're getting the wrap up signal, guys. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to go. Um, don't forget to tune into our podcast. We just released it, and it's two new episodes. It's a lot of fun. I guess there's like some Stella venting going on well we got so much lamb mail uh, about this situation we had to you know we had to talk about it and yeah you know stella wants to put her foot out there then it might get run over oh we reload is that what we do i don't know what we do can we take a break because i'm actually i'm a little parched we don't yeah, have splashes or anything this is very we... unlike us yeah, I know. <laughs> Very un Mariah. So, uh, stay tuned, maybe. We'll come stay back. Stay tuned, we might come back. But we are getting a wrap up soon. I'm hungry. I, I feel like I haven't eaten. Yeah, we just did two back to back hair. shows. Um, 
But this has definitely been fun, and we'll we'll do more for you guys if you tune in. We can we can talk we can talk real time. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's take a break. Migrate could have been the nineteenth. Of- See, I'm so fascinated with this feed. I'm now. so fascinated too because I want to know like right away what everyone is thinking. I wish I could read all of these, but I can't. Oh, only stop listening to your podcast because of the live feed. All right, go back to the podcast. Oh, we'll go back to the podcast. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> because we'll there's a lot of great moments on there. Yeah. You can find it on I, I, iTunes, <laughs> SoundCloud. <laughs> Just go to the MariahReport.com. Or Google it. Or Google it. It's there. You'll find it. And tell your friends. We need you guys to tell your friends because that really makes a huge difference for us. It does. Please. So thanks for for uh, tuning in. Yeah. Thanks for all the questions. This was fun. Thanks for your interaction. And I don't know what to do. Should we come back? Oh no, I don't think it? we should. I think we should just go. We got lights. I know we got lights. We're gonna We've do been stuff. Working on. Look, we're done. Okay. Well, thanks again, Lambs. Facebook oh, Lambs. Thank you, Facebook Lambs. We appreciate your love, support, and yes. you know, keep loving Mariah. That's all we can do. Bye.